Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of July 24th to 30th, 2023. Pluto is often called the psychotherapist planet, known for bringing what has been repressed or suppressed into our awareness so that it can be understood, dismantled, and transmuted. With the dwarf planet at the bending of the moon's nodal axis now, we may be surprised by the unsolicited feelings and memories that are coming to the surface. Old personality structures that have limited us in some way are being cracked wide open, allowing a wide variety of emotions to be revealed and experienced. Ultimately, this is a very deep cleansing designed to clear away the residue of patterns and memories that have kept us disempowered in some way. What has been hidden must come to the surface so that it no longer controls us from behind the scenes or inhibits our evolutionary process. But as with most cleanup work, we may be finding this chore tedious and tiring, and whistling while we work seems a ludicrous suggestion. Perhaps we can take heart that this is an opportunity to do a thorough cleansing, and that once we have completed this process, we will feel a new courage emerge. This revitalized inner fire will enable us to feel more confident and energized and more willing to take risks we once shied away from, since we are free of the fears that once shackled us. Pluto was exactly square the north and south nodes once last week, and that precise aspect repeats twice this coming week on Tuesday and Friday. This three-time event is possible since Pluto is retrograde, and because the nodes are traveling backward in their usual two steps ahead, one step back dance. The influence of this powerful aspect will be with us until mid-August, when the nodes move beyond the active zone. Also drawing our attention to the past and bringing up old issues is Venus, now traveling backward through Leo. For the next 42 days, we are in a period of re-evaluation, reassessing what we truly value. One of our tasks during this time is to observe when we feel creatively inspired by what we are doing versus when we are merely repeating out of habit what we're used to doing. As the goddess of love and beauty, Venus rules our relationship to anything that we can say we love, whether that's another sentient being, an object, nature, or a creative or pleasurable experience. Essentially, Venus is associated with whatever causes us to open our hearts or our wallets. These are the areas we are asked to review now. While Venus retrograde doesn't mean a relationship must end, we may become aware of issues that need to be addressed before we make a stronger commitment. Likewise, in financial matters, it is wise to closely review any big-ticket purchases or investments, perhaps postponing final decisions until after Venus goes direct on September 3rd. The call to reassess relationship patterns is underscored by the karmic south node's recent ingress into Libra, the sign of partnership and commitment. Specifically, we will want to be aware of any codependent traits, saying yes when our gut is saying no, any ways that we adopt another person's perspective instead of trusting our own instincts, and basing our well-being and self-worth on whether someone else is appreciating or applauding us. Here are this week's most important planetary aspects with my brief interpretations. There are no major aspects exact on Monday. On Tuesday, Pluto is square the nodal axis. Pluto is exactly square the moon's nodes three times on July 22nd, 25th, and 28th. The influence of this dynamic aspect is strong from mid-July through mid-August. Also on Tuesday, Mercury is trine Eris. People tend to be more forthright or even blunt with this aspect. We may be more concerned with making our opinions known than truly listening to others' views. On Wednesday, Mercury is quincunx Neptune. There is some mental fog today, a lack of clarity in how we think or communicate. And on Wednesday, Mars is sesquiquadrate Eris. It is easy to become irritated with this aspect, as the urge to have what we want, when we want it, is heightened. On Thursday, Mercury is conjunct retrograde Venus. 
they may become involved in conversations about relationship issues today. It is possible that someone from our past will get in touch, or we might decide to contact someone we once knew and loved. Dreams may revolve around old relationship themes or the people we were involved with. Also on Thursday, Mercury is quincunx Pluto. People can be tactless today, causing dramatic reactions in others. Some may try to manipulate or dominate a situation with persuasive arguments. On Friday, Pluto is square the nodal axis for the second time this week. And on Friday, Mercury enters Virgo. Mercury will be in the sign of Virgo for an extended 42-day period this year due to going retrograde on August 23rd, while the messenger planet transits the sign of the Virgin until October 4th. Our minds tend to be discriminating and analytical, and we may focus on the details more than usual. Teaching, communicating, or writing may become an important part of our service or work. Mercury in Virgo's mental precision can be beneficial, of course, but we must also watch a tendency to be controlling, to demand perfection and efficiency, or to be pessimistic and critical. And on Friday, the Sun is quincunx Saturn, we can feel burdened by life's responsibilities with this aspect. It may seem that others don't fully appreciate all that we do. Instead of becoming depressed or working harder to gain the approval we seek, it is important to applaud and honor ourselves and to make sure we make time for more spontaneity and play in our daily lives. There are no major aspects exact on Saturday. On Sunday, retrograde Venus is quincunx Neptune. We may not see another person or a financial situation clearly with this aspect. This illusionment can occur if someone or something doesn't meet our expectations. Since Venus is retrograde, it may be worthwhile to consider if we have experienced an unhealthy naivete or idealism at other times of our lives. If your birthday is this week, a healthy balance between work and pleasure may be challenging to find this year. To work with this influence, you might try adding playtime to your to-do list or actually scheduling time to be spontaneous rather than waiting until you've completed all your responsibilities before allowing yourself time to relax. This can be a year of great personal insight and powerful transformation, especially if your birthday falls in the first three days of this week. The changes you experience this year will ultimately enable you to feel more empowered in your life and to step more fully into your soul's mission. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.